Hi everyone and welcome back to Archicard C. This summer super project is the largest I ever put my hands on. Uh, I'm sorry to say that this is not my project, this is a friend of mine, uh, but he has asked me to help him build this plane and I have told him yes because I really really like this plane. So what are we up to this time? Well, everybody knows uh, the beast from Hangar 9. Uh, my friend just purchased this plane. It's so big, so I will take it out part for part and uh, show you guys what's in the box. Uh, and we have uh, bought a DLA 112 cubic uh, engine, uh, two cylinders of course, uh, and uh, a lot of a lot of other necessary parts that we will come back to later so let's start in box review you guys okay we will start with the fuselage as you can see this is a rather big one uh, the wingspan isn't that big on this bird it's uh, 2.2 meters but anyway this one will for sure get your attention at the flying field uh, Let's just remove this plastic. This one is a true beauty. I know that most of you guys that uh, are out there flying airplanes really really like this, uh, this plane. Uh, Hangar 9 is uh, are, uh, are known for their good quality and this is no exception. This one is really really great uh, it's covered with uh, uh, with fiberglass balsa and some outer coat on the outside I wish there would be more uh, balsa on the body instead of the coat because it's very easy to get a hole in it but then again if you're really a good craftsman you can fix that easy so uh, on the sides here you have Easy access, only two bolts, and you're inside the plane. And as you can see, a lot of space to put your electronics. Uh, my friend has uh, purchased the largest power saver box from Spectrum. Uh, and uh, we will make a review of that as well uh, and this video will be in part so you can see the progress on how to uh, insert the servos and how well, what kind of servos we are using and what kind of setup we are using so uh, pretty pretty large plane so I can't wait to start building this one but so okay uh, back to the smaller parts of this airplane we have the wheel covers these ones are also ready to just put on with uh, great decals and they are in fiberglass so strong next we have the rudder fins the hinges on uh, this uh, plane is uh, ready installed uh, and, uh, and uh, glued uh, the only thing that you need to do is to put uh, the rudder into the tail fin and use a rod to stick through all the hinges and you're ready to go. There are some uh, other works uh, work to do. You need to use an iron to, to shape out a bit on the wing but that depends on the model that you get. 
some models uh, have better finish than other but this you get with all models so perhaps you're lucky I don't know uh, the wheel brackets or mountings can you see the size on this one insane two set of wheels some hardware some wood and here you have the tail wheel with carbon uh, tail uh, can we call it tail straps um, tail wheel holder looks very strong and of course we have the fuel tank as you all know uh, I was uh, telling you earlier we are going for the DLA 112 cubic engine so this will be the gas engine I guess for normal flight sports flying we will have about 20-25 minutes of flights on this one with easy flights of course but uh, that also depends on how we tune the engine and so on so we will get back to that uh, I'm not sure if you are going to fly this baby this year uh, how long it will take us to assemble this plane but uh, I guess my friend want to fly it as soon as possible so the other thing that is great with this plane is often when you have something uh, you have some problem with the engine you have to take off the cowler in the propeller and there's a lot of work to get inside to your engine but on this hangar 9 beauty you have a two-piece cowler very very easy as you can see it's a big one great finish on this uh, color it's in fiberglass of course and some wood and the paint job is spotless there's nothing to complain about uh, I have been working on some other big models where you have drops of paint and it looks like they have pre-made a model in such a hurry so but hangar 9 I always like them and I will always do that thing because they just keep coming with good products let's check out the other box because this plane comes in two boxes okay you guys uh, in box number two we have this the manual and as you can see a lot of pages when you want to assemble this plane and uh, try to get it ready use good time because this is such a large project and you don't want anything to go wrong with this one as you all know I did some mistake on my DC3 uh, I forgot to set the aileron uh, extension on the rudders and I had way too much making it tip stall and I also was afraid to give too much power so anyway that's another plane um, very 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 great manual I have already taken the time to read through this a lot of times uh, I do this because uh, I want to have sort of a clue for what I'm going to uh, face during the build so but enough about the manual uh, here are some instructions for how to mount the engine and the colors so here is one piece of the wing you will have four of these uh, different size of course from the bottom to the top wings but as you can see these ones are already pre-hinged and they are solid here you can see ready to just put a servo inside and here you have some reinforcement of wood so the 
link um, link holders will be attached here and everything looks very very strong here are mounts for the wing uh, to, the, to the second wing, bottom wing of course and on the side you can see you have a lot of holes for wires and this big one is for the steel rod, uh, the steel tube that is going through uh, all the wings so as you can see I'm not going to take all of them out of the plastic but here you can see the finish the other one was black and this is a gold color it's very nice colors on this plane okay uh, we have some decals and one of the great things about this model that these decals aren't already put on because I don't want to make any commercials for uh, Horizon Hobby and so on even though I'm saying their name here now uh, the one thing that is great that uh, Monsini, the crea creator of this plane has signed the side of the plane I like that and that is what's going to be standing there and of course the, the marks, the beast I want to use uh, here you have the stabilizers and the support rods for the wings very very beautiful finish on this one too aircraft studio design crew marks and here's a bit of a surprise for me because this is the top wing midsection I thought this was going to be rather larger but it wasn't as you can see this is the piece the top piece for the top wing the mid section piece I mean so but beautiful beautiful finish Here is the tail, um, the elevator, the tail wing. Uh, as you can see here as well, extra support reinforcement in wood for dual elevators. Uh, lately on two, two of my planes, uh, I have been using dual elevator and I find it very, very nice to use because uh, I'm, if I break it, I'm not depending on the midsection of the wing because both of them will even go up. If I break uh, a, a tail um, a wing with, that is controlled with one servo, I will only have one. So, nice feature I think. But of course, on such a large plane, we need dual elevator. And of course, steel tubes or am I wrong? These are not steel tubes, these are carbon tubes. Very, very strong. And, and finally some hardware and stuff for mounting wing brackets small tubes wiring for the wings and even velcro bands and so on and plastic nuts for uh, fastening the wings to uh, the fuselage. I'm a bit of a um, skeptic person when it comes to these plastic plugs. I have changed them on all my planes because on my uh, last large project I was going to mount the wing with the plastic plugs. I have done this and I was going to lift up the plane and I took it by the body and the wing fell off so I use steel plugs. But this is different quality of course. I will put 
put out the video, the part 2 video of this, uh, the beast. And in the part 2 video I will show you what kind of electric uh, systems we are going to use on this baby. So, stay tuned. Bye.